The learning objectives for this segment are as follows. 1. What is most to least fading of physical prompt? 2. What types of skills can be taught using these techniques? 3. How to implement and successfully fade this type of prompt? Physical prompts are often used to teach the student to perform new and at times complex motor tasks. When using most to least fading of physical prompts, the teacher starts by providing the student with the greatest amount of support. The amount of help is systematically decreased so that by the end of the teaching progression, the student should be performing the task independently and without errors. Good job! You did it! In this particular prompting sequence, fading occurs across four steps. For instance, put the block in the cup. When teaching a student to follow instructions involving yeah. prepositions, the teacher will start by providing the prompt prescribed for step zero, manual guidance immediately following the instruction. Nice job! Put the block in the cup. As the student practices the skill without making errors, the teacher fades the prompt as prescribed in step one. Job. At step two, the, the teacher the barely helps the student nice perform work. the response. Next, after meeting criteria to move to step three, nice the student should be able to execute the response correctly and independently.